Hey guys, I know a lot of you in the UK can't wait to go on holiday to somewhere warmer in Europe, say Spain, Greece or Italy. If you have a dog and you're planning to go on a little European trip once things get better, then this video is for you. If we're just meeting, I'm Danny the Traveler and this is Rocky the Traveler. Now in this video, I'm just going to talk about the ways to get into Europe from the UK. I won't get into Brexit or pet passports as I already have another video covering that topic. So in this video, I'm just going to go over four different ways to get you and your dog from the UK to Europe. It is a little more challenging getting your dog to go with you to Europe if you do live in the UK as normally without a dog you have the option of flying or taking the Eurostar train from uh, from the UK to Europe. However, I should say if you do have a small dog, a few airlines might allow you to take them via cabin. But normally most airlines in the UK will only transport pets via the cargo hold. So overall, unfortunately, when it comes to pets, the plane and Eurostar options are out of reach for most dogs as these methods of travel are really only allowed for assistance dogs. And this video is made more for pet dogs of all sizes and shapes. Okay, so without further ado, let's go over four methods to bring your dog to Europe from the UK. The channel tunnel is a viable option for traveling between Europe and the UK. You can take a car or you can take a taxi to get there. You can visit the channel website and make a booking then add a dog to the ticket. If you have access to a car, you can simply just hop on the ferry to one of the many different routes that take you to Europe. There are routes from Wales to Ireland, from England to France or Spain or the Netherlands. Check to see which options allow dogs, which ones have kennels and overall which is best for you and your dog. There are quite a few different routes that allow you to travel via ferry as a foot passenger with your dog. Including the route which takes you from Harwich, UK to the Hook of Holland in the Netherlands. There are a few more routes which allow you to take your dog with you with no car, but do have a good look online to see which options are available to you. This option works well if you do not have a car. Did you know that websites such as Blah Blah Car allow you to book a seat in someone else's car who is already planning to travel from the UK to Europe? You can go on the site, message drivers and ask if they can allow you to bring your dog. If they do, then you can book the seat. I managed to do this quite a few different times with Rocky to travel between UK and Europe. The driver would have to go via ferry or tunnel and then you both agree to a drop off point. It's definitely an option if you don't have a car and want to travel with your dog to Europe. So those are four different options. I hope they can help you when travel is allowed to go off on adventures to Europe with your best friend. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.